Hello and good afternoon. This is Kuldeep Chaudhary from Health in India. I'm at Sheetla Surgical Center. This hospital which started functioning 15 years back has made giant leaps in the last decade and a half in the field of most complex laparoscopic and general surgeries. The hospital has been doing all kinds of advanced cancer surgeries. The hospital started with the two major specialities in ophthalmology and uh, pediatrics but over a period of time has developed three major wings. One is Sheetla Children Hospital, Sheetla Surgical Center and Sheetla Women Hospital. Some of the best names in the field of laparoscopic and complex general surgeries have been associated with the hospital in its journey of the last one and a half decades. Uh, Currently, the hospital has uh, one of the very most experienced uh, laparoscopic surgeon, Dr. Sandeep Mittal, who does all kinds of surgeries at the hospital, not only for the patients who come uh, from various parts of the country, but also the international patients who come to India in search for cheaper solutions. So, there are a large number of countries where the surgical facilities are not up to the mark. Uh, they do not even perform laparoscopic procedures. Uh, there are also countries where these procedures are available but the costs are phenomenally high so those patients they come to India where typically any kind of laparoscopic or general surgery at the five star hospitals, the so called five star hospitals costs about 4000 to 5000 US dollars. The same surgery at Sheetla hospital costs just about 1500 US dollars. Today we are here at the hospital to talk to Dr. Sandeep Mittal and to find out what is it that makes the hospital a preferred choice for not only the domestic patients but the international patients also? Good afternoon, Dr. Sandeep. Uh, uh, you, you've been doing a large number of laparoscopic surgeries and Sheetla Hospital is a major referral hospital when it comes to surgical work. Uh, so tell us uh, what is it that differentiates you, what is it that gives you that advantage of being able to confidently do these most difficult things. Most important thing what I have felt in my surgical experience is that uh, surgical costs are very high in uh, major setups or in foreign nations. So what we are uh, basically planned that we can do the same surgery in that cost when, where we can give the best quality at the affordable prices. This is the idea behind this uh, surgical setup at Shifa. We do the all sort of laparoscopic, advanced laparoscopy as well as the best uh, cancer surgeries in our uh, uh, Shidla center with a very affordable prices. The thing is we cut our cost by reducing the uh, super luxury charges and all those charges but the quality will be absolutely uh, like a 5 star or uh, top so Dr. Sandeep, uh, you know, you, uh, you have the backup of all kinds of diagnostic modalities within the hospital, whether it is pathology or radiology. So this comprehensive approach to the work, does that help because a patient uh, which comes with a pain abdomen can be immediately, uh, you know, diagnosed in an ultrasound and if it's a stone surgery, then uh, immediately the patient can be wheeled into the operating room? Yeah, we have a uh, uh, very good diagnostic uh, backup and uh, we can handle a uh, patient in, uh, in case of emergencies immediately with all uh, diagnostic things as well as all uh, therapeutic and ICU backup. So we make sure that patient get the treatment at the earliest, best treatment and get the maximum care at the time when patient requires it. So we don't have any problem uh, handling the uh, cases in emergencies, cases in elective cases or the major cases like uh, major abdominal surgeries or surgeries in the emergencies. We have all sort of uh, facilities available, including radiological diagnosis and uh, uh, pathologic uh, backup. We have everything. ICU, we have an advanced ICU system, so that post-operation care will be up to the mark. And we don't have any problem in uh, communication between the ICU staff and all these things. And doctors are available and very efficient doctors we are having, which are always available. And uh, emergency definitely will be. So, Doctor Sandeep, uh, you know the surgeon is the one who always gets the credit, is gets all the fame. Uh, but uh, you know, no surgeon is complete without uh, a good teamwork with the anesthetist. So, tell us something about your anesthesia backup over here. So we have uh, three or four anesthetists on call, and we have round the clock anesthesia backup. Definitely, surgery is basically a teamwork. It includes anesthesia, nursing staff, ICU care 
emergency trauma uh, staff, then a medical officer who attend the, at the entrance point, and post of care, everything, it is basically a teamwork. So the thing is, only uh, one segment of the surgical team, if it is strong, and other segments are weak, it is not uh, the case. So we have an efficient anesthesia team, which can handle uh, intra-op, pre-op as well as post of care. We have a post of care and recovery room uh, <coughs> staff. The surgical team, we have uh, all sort of uh, best anesthesia team as well as uh, emergency, post op, recovery. Everything we have a plan and a very uh, organized uh, this thing. So that surgery should be without any complication and recovery should be fast. So our team is, uh, I, I feel that our team is the, one of the best team uh, we, uh, we can have. Dr. Sandeep, uh, the most, the patients always complain about very busy surgeons that the post-op care is not very good. Here I was talking, just before talking to you, I was uh, talking to some of your patients who are admitted in the hospital. They were extremely happy that even though the surgeon is very busy, but you meet them on a daily basis, twice a day in fact, after the surgery and there is no proxy work involved because the surgeon who's done the surgery is actually listening to the patient. How important do you think is the post-op care by the doctor himself even in spite of being very busy? What I personally feel that uh, pre-op and post-op is 90% uh, of the any disease, any treatment. So I personally very much interested in seeing patient after surgeries and on the regular basis. I don't skip anybody after the surgery and uh, this is my routine or you can say this is my uh, religion to see the patient in the morning and the evening and make sure that patient is comfortable, fit and fine. So I don't uh, like seeing uh, RMO seeing the patient and convincing the patient. I go and personally see the patient unless until I see the patient I will not be satisfied. So this is even if I am very busy in the morning, whenever I get time Mostly I come in the hospital, first I see my post op patients, PO patients and then only I enter the surgery. After my end of surgeries, I go and see the patients. So Dr. Sandeep, Sheetla is now known for uh, three major uh, specialties, neonatology, gynae and uh, surgery. You have a very nice team in the uh, terms of laparoscopic gynae surgeons. Uh, so between you, you are able to do all kinds of uh, abdominal surgeries, men and women. Now, what are the major procedures being done at the hospital? The gynecological surgeries and general surgery are basically complementary. The thing is, uh, every time, uh, like uh, we have to do a laparoscopic or staging, or ovarian staging system uh, surgeries, or total uh, laparoscopic hysterectomy, the major surgery we have to do. So sometimes, uh, gynecological backup or surgical backups are required in either cases. So we have very good support system. In the two departments, we have very good coordination. So, in case of complication or in case of uh, this uh, performing major surgeries, so we have a full backup of uh, multiple surgeons, multiple gynecologists. So, in that way, actually, we are very much uh, complete in uh, doing the. I was talking to this Nigerian patient who was admitted at the hospital who had come for uh, a routine, uh, you know, uterine uh, for a routine hysterectomy. But since she has such severe adhesions, uh, so she was referred from Nigeria and the surgery was not performed. I believe it took uh, the, you and uh, your gynecologist uh, team uh, almost four hours to you know, do a total uh, laparoscopic hysterectomy. Uh, there were a lot of blood units were also required. So, uh, you know, is that uh, routine, do you get uh, similar, uh, li similarly difficult cases most of the times? Uh, definitely people come here for, uh, we take referred cases which are being refused by other centers because of the expected complications. This case actually was a really difficult case, it, it was uh, like uh, thick additions between bladder and the other intestines and all things. So our team had to uh, work a lot on the patient. We uh, did a very good job in that uh, total laparoscopy hysterectomy, and I really appreciate our gynecologists as well uh, because they are very much competent and they did a very good job with us. So that was a very nice experience for us. And this type of cases we do routinely. This is not that. This was an exceptionally difficult case. That's why we have to. 
mention it. Otherwise, we do routinely this uh, complicated surgery. So, Dr. Sanjeev, even though you are very well adept at doing laparoscopic surgeries, but uh, is the time for general surgery over? Will every surgery going to be done laparoscopically or still there is scope for general surgery? What I want to say that uh, basics will never be uh, vanished. Basics always will be there. General surgery is basically mother of all types of surgery. So we cannot say that surgery, general surgery will be vanished. This general surgery has its own role, the surgery, and definitely it is very very important to know all general surgical procedures, even if you are a very good laparoscopic surgeon. So I personally uh, insist on that that every general surgeon or laparoscopic surgeon should have a very good general surgery uh, experience as well as uh, acumen. So that's why we do general surgery uh, along with our laparoscopic uh, surgeries. So we don't uh, insist that uh, everything will be done by laparoscopic surgery. Well, wherever general surgery is required, like thyroid surgeries, like other mastectomies or cancer surgeries, we uh, judge patient according to the disease, not by the our clinical. And Dr. Disease. Sandeep, uh, you know, I understand there is a lot of competition among the surgeons these days. So some of the doctors position themselves in a particular procedure like uh, a big doctor in Delhi positioned himself for years as a you know greatest man uh, greatest surgeon when it comes to laparoscopic cholecystectomy there are others who you know promote uh, only renal or anal surgeries uh, piles and fissures and all those things uh, you you have a very rounded personality i was seeing uh, you know the list of patients who were operated yesterday and they included everything from hernia to gallstones to appendicitis, uh, pancreatitis, intestinal surgeries. So is it something uh, which you enjoy doing? Is it the variety of the work that challenges you? Yeah, it, exactly. But uh, actually the thing is, I like a uh, variety of surgeries. I don't want to become a disease, single disease surgeon. So I like doing intestinal surgeries, doing hernias. Doing, doing laparoscopic surgeries and other surgeries, cancer surgeries. In that case, we I will uh, be more uh, interested in doing a lot of uh, surgeries in different different uh, these things. So you will be knowing the all anatomy complications, doing the complicated surgery, so that uh, you know the what challenges you can have during surgeries. So I don't prefer doing a single surgery, single disease. Surgery. And uh, I was talking to your admin people, and they. Uh, mentioned to me that you know uh, you are able to do most of the you know surgical work uh, in a single deluxe room for less than a thousand dollars. Is that right? So our idea of uh, opening a surgical center or having surgical center is cheap. Lies it should be ultimately it should be affordable. It should be convenient to the patient. So we can do the same surgeries which has been done in the five star uh, hospitals on the affordable prices. Exactly, it is very, very true that we do surgeries on very, very affordable prices. Hey, Dr. Sandeep, it was a pleasure talking to you. You are doing a human service to the humanity, working round the clock, uh, relieving patients of their pain, of their disease. We hope that you continue to do the same. You've made this hospital into a mecca for all kinds of surgical work. Wishing you all the best. Thank you, Dr. Sandeep. Thank you.